Hey Curly Tees, today we're going to look at the differences between Jailmaker Net and Jailmaker Rio. It's kind of noisy where I am right now and I wanted to go ahead and get this video out as quickly as possible. So let me turn you over to the computer ladies so you won't be distracted by my background. Gelmaker Nat is a cold process pre-neutralized emulsifier, compared to Sepalife Nude. Gelmaker Rio is a liquid, cold process, pre-neutralized emulsifying polymer, compared to Why she keep saying Gelmaker? Girl, I'm gonna have to do this myself, otherwise she gonna be saying Gelmaker through the whole video, child. Y'all and y'all technology, okay. Okay, the first thing you'll notice is that you must shake each ingredient before using. You can hear the difference in the viscosities even before you open the top. Gelmaker Rio is noticeably thinner than Gelmaker Nat. Rio is a white liquid, while Nat is more like a pourable gel. The light source is a little strong, but you should be able to see the gelled consistency of Gemma Gunnett. I'm going to adjust the light so you can see the liquid consistency of Gelmaker Rio. It's important to note that both of these ingredients are sensitive to electrolytes like aloe vera and potassium as a loyal diglycinate. You can hear the difference in the viscosities even before you open the top. Gelmaker Rio is noticeably thinner than Gelmaker Nat. Rio is a white liquid while Nat is more like a pourable gel. Use distilled or deionized water whenever you're making skincare and hair care products, even with these little test formulas, you know? Let's add a small amount of humectant. Glycerin works fine here. Phenopropanol EHG is a broad spectrum preservative that works in a broad pH range. I'm using it because this will be sitting out for a few weeks so I can see if there's any short term viscosity loss. Caprolate capric triglyceride is a degreasing oil soluble emollient used here as a way to test the emulsifying action of the gel maker net. Gelmaker Nat is combined to the oil soluble ingredients, so if you're not using oil, you would just add it as the last step in your process. Combine phase A and phase B ingredients and mix for one to three minutes.
All right, the emulsion is opaque, white, and very, very glossy. The final cream is not too thick and not water thin either. It's soft and dissolves quite quickly on the skin. The gel breaks nicely and doesn't leave any type of tacky feeling on your skin. The Glossy Gel Cream has a small amount of movement to it. It's not liquid, certainly, but it's not incredibly firm either. Use Gel Maker Net if you want a smooth, soft feel that absorbs quickly into the skin. There is no tacky, draggy feeling from the Gel Maker Net. It's much lighter and absorbs quicker than Sepinov EMT 10 emulsions that I've made in the past. We're using the same formula, but substituting Gel Maker Rio instead. Combine phase A and phase B all at once. No need to pour slowly, then mix until smooth. The emulsion with Gel Maker Rio is also smooth and glossy, but it's slightly more viscous than the one made with Gel Maker Nat. The gel cream is very creamy, glossy, and silky. It has a smooth, almost silicone-like feel without any thick, draggy, heavy feeling. This Gel Maker Rio cream has stiffer peaks and is visibly thicker than the cream made with Gel Maker Net. Like you, it's not a humongous difference, but there's a difference there.
We've seen how they make emulsions, but what about regular gels with only water-soluble ingredients? Let's check it out. Here's the basic unpreserved recipe to test out how the gels for each ingredient will look without oil soluble ingredients. Now do not save this, okay? Don't save this. It's only 25 grams and does not contain a preservative. I'm just checking for clarity and stickiness or lack thereof between the two ingredients. Let's start with gel maker net at 2%. Mix for one to two minutes. We've got a gel, folks. It looks semi-transparent, but is not crystal clear, of course. Mix 2% gel maker Rio for one to two minutes. The gel created with Gelmaker Rio is more opaque than the one created with Gelmaker Nat. My final thoughts on these two ingredients, Gel Maker Rio creates that glossy cream gel that we're all used to seeing. Gelmaker Net creates a clearer gel than Gelmaker Rio, but both Gelmaker Net and Rio have a soft, quick breaking feel on the skin. However, neither ingredient creates crystal clear gel. If you're looking to create a crystal clear serum or gel, stick with a carbomer or a hydroxyethylcellulose. Gelmaker Net is also a little less viscous than Gelmaker Rio, which probably means you'll need to use a little bit more of the Gelmaker Net to get a thicker, heftier gel. Thank you. 
both Rio and Net look very similar when used to make an emotion. They both feel good on the skin. There's, like I said, there's no draggy feeling added from the ingredients themselves. Gel Maker Rio creates slightly more viscous products. The peaks are stiffer and the gel is more opaque. In contrast, Gel Maker Nat creates slightly less viscous emotions and slightly clearer gels. Now, it's not a hard and fast rule, okay? But I'd use Gel Maker Nat if I wanted to make clearer serums or very light gels for the skin. I'd use Gel Maker Rio for standard cream gels or if there was something I wanted to build more viscosity into, like um, a night cream or a super moisturizing gel cream. Now again, 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 you're gonna have to be careful because both are sensitive to electrolytes, but they serve similar purposes. The choice is really up to you. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to visit curlytea.com for all of the DIY recipes and formulas, including the full ingredients list, instructions, my notes, and other information. Follow on social media and become a patron at Patreon if that's more convenient for you. I'll talk to you guys soon.